Dante the Bronze by my wildness. I know you guys been waiting impatiently for my big announcement, but I will be announcing Wilder versus Lewis, King Kong, Ortiz. November 4th is the fight. I will be announcing it at the Dream Hotel, 12 noon in New York City. But I'm just letting you guys know, it has to be one champion, one face, one name. Who is that name? Deontay, Bronze Bomber Wilder. Bomb Squad, don't forget it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Y'all heard it right then and there. Louis Ortiz, I'm about to beat your ass. I promise you that. Hey, November 4th is going down at the Barclays Center. We got a big announcement at the Dream Hotel 12 New Wednesday. It's going down. First press conference. Uh, Bug Squad. Somebody old got to go. I'm going to knock his ass out. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So, I just finished watching the Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz press conference that dropped... Uh, yesterday, uh, it was pretty boring, um, you know, very sh straight to the point. Um, mostly the interviews afterward are what were interesting, but Deontay Water had a few interesting things to say during the press conference, and that's what I want to respond to. Um, Deontay Water said that Anthony Joshua is very well liked over in the UK. His people embrace him. Um, his people support him. Uh, he's a big money fighter. Anytime you fight Anthony Joshua, you stand to make, you know, a, a ton of money or hit the lottery, so to speak, right? Um, and that's because of the people and their support for their fighter and their champion, right? And, you know, I can only surmise that the UK is, uh, you know, a, a place of mixed race people, right? Um, black, white, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never been to the UK, but I know they got black people out there, I know they got white people out there, right? And everybody seems to be um, rallying behind Anthony Joshua. And on the other hand of the equation, you've got Deontay Wilder, who is the WBC heavyweight champion here in America. And it seems like all he gets is criticism from fans um, and what have you, and, and media, right? So we criticize Deontay Wilder. Um, it, it might come off as he's not very well liked here in the United States. Um, or you, you might even venture off and say that he's, an unknown fighter over here, right? Well, here's the thing, man. Um, oh, he also said that, you know, his we don't rally behind him like Joshua's people rally behind him, okay? I know he's referring to, he's got to be referring to black people when he's talking like this, right? Or we, we can even just say people in general here in the States. No one rally, rallies behind him. Um, we have the power to make him a big name fighter. That's ultimately what I think his point was, or part of his point. So, I want to respond to that. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I criticize everybody on this channel, whether they're black, white, Hispanic. I could care less about the boxer's race, okay? When we're talking about boxing, I try to keep it as boxing as possible. I throw on my jokes here and there. Um, I might make fun of, you know, <laughs> where these people are from here and there, man, but it's nothing, it's nothing serious. When it comes to the United States and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder got to realize that boxing isn't as big as it is over here in the UK. Um, in the UK, boxing is a, a huge sport, similar to how the NFL, NBA, and MLB are over here in the States, right? Um, you know, in the UK, boxing is their NFL. You know, boxing is their MLB. So there's more eyes on the sport of boxing in the UK. Therefore, there's more fans, right? And... They, they rallied behind a guy uh, who has no losses, all knockouts, um, clean cut dude. Um, they just rallied behind him. And over here, <sighs> Deontay Wilder has 38 fights, right? He's, he's 38 fights, 37 knockouts, um, one decision. Um, my criticism from for Wilder comes from the fact that He's fought nothing but bums, you know, for most of his career. And I've always wanted him to challenge himself. And, you know, at, at times it seems like he's going to challenge himself and something weird happens. Uh, a guy fails a drug test, um, Alexander Pavek, and he failed the drug test. That was initially supposed to be his step-up fight. You know, he was going to Russia uh, to fight Alexander Povetkin. Unfortunately, Alexander Povetkin tested positive for banned substance. We're not going to argue the facts in that situation because that's what happened. All right. Now, 
after that, he attempted to to sign on into another fight, and the guy tested positive again for steroids, right? So he ended up fighting. I can't remember the guy's name. Was it DeHoppus? I, I can't remember. No, 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 no. It was Gerald Washington, right? Yeah, he fought Gerald Washington. So really, Deontay Wilder's biggest step-up fight is Bermain Stavern. And as much shit as Deontay Wilder talks, as, as vocal as he is, you know, he doesn't have that great of a resume. He doesn't have the names behind him for me to rally behind him, you know? He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that larger-than-life persona, you know? Look at Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was was uh, on the come-up. He was knocking everybody out. People feared him. It was a different time. There were more eyes on boxing. Um you know, he had kind of like a, a gimmick, if you will, right? I don't know what Deontay Wilder's gimmick is. I mean, is he the nice dude? Is he the thug? Is he the drug dude? Like, what? what what's your persona, dog? Like, you got to play the game. Like, it's just like the WWE. You got to play this game. If you're looking to get more eyes on you, if you're looking to make more money, you got to you gotta build yourself up, dude. You gotta put yourself out in the public. You gotta you gotta go on Housewives of Atlanta, man. You gotta do all that dumb shit. If you really wanna make the big bucks, you know, hate is love and love is hate. So if the people hate you, they're gonna have you gonna have more eyes on you, man. If the people love you, you're gonna have eyes on you. It's as simple as that, man. You gotta pick a persona, all right? Stop playing these games. You know, get in the ring. See, this was a good step. Fighting Luis Ortiz. Great step to you know, increasing your name value, uh, increasing the amount of fans that you have by beating or not by knocking out Luis Ortiz. What you're gonna do is mostly you're gonna you're basically gonna shut up the naysayers, man. You're gonna shut me up because if you knock out, and I'm picking you to knock Luis Ortiz out, so don't let me down. But if you if you knock Luis Ortiz out, then I can rally behind you, dude. Like ain't no he too old. Nah, you know, he ain't been in the ring in a year. Nah, you knock Luis Ortiz out, you getting respect from Hitman Boxing. And it, it, my respect could mean nothing to you. It means nothing to me, okay? Um, at the end of the day, we making these videos and we increasing our capital here. So, Deontay Wilder, that's what you got to do. You got to go on a Tonight Show. You got to go on these late night talk shows. You know, coming to, I think he, I don't know, man. Do got to increase his star power. You got to get in some movies, something, bro. You're not even sponsored by nobody. Uh, Anthony Joshua sponsored by Under Armour. I seen Anthony Joshua on my TV screen. I seen him on a commercial here in the States, all right? Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I'm not finna rally behind you fighting nothing but bums, dude. Like, I'm not finna rally behind you. I'm not. I'm, this ain't no race thing, you know. That's that's a that's a topic for another discussion. I, I get part of his his argument, but we don't keep it boxing right now. And you know, if you was if you were the bad guy, you might have more fans. You might be making more money. You, more people will go to watch your fights, just like Floyd did, man. And I realize not everybody's trying to be like Floyd, but if you want to make that money, if you want to increase your fan base, that's all you got to do. You got to pick a persona, man. That's all I'm saying. You know, Lou DeBella sucks as your um, promoter. He ain't even really a promoter, to be honest. But Lou DeBella's trash. Uh, Al Heyman ain't advising you correctly. Um, but, again, like I said, taking the Luis Ortiz fight is a step in the right direction. Um, you know, if you go on to fight Anthony Joshua or Joseph Parker, that's only going to increase your star power, dude. Like, it, it takes time. At least the way you're doing it, it's going to take time. But... If you follow some of my steps in this video, you might be able to be a bigger star than Anthony Joshua. But at the end of the day, nobody's coming to see Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's not even fighting in Las Vegas. He's fighting in New York for the next fight. Luis Ortiz versus Deontay Wilder should be the biggest fight in November. That should be the big... Well, I think it is probably going to be the biggest fight in November. But you get what I'm saying. It should be the biggest fight. Like, it should be a huge event. It should be taking place in Vegas. Um, you know, we should be having these these entertaining press conferences. You know, you need to be be going on late night television talking about how you're going to knock Luis Ortiz out. You know, let the people into your life, you know. I remember before the Bermain Stavern fight, they aired that uh, little piece on Deontay Wilder where we got a chance to see more about him. And, you know, we, we learned about his daughter and, 
you know, her trials and tribulations coming up. And we got to learn more about Deontay Wilder as a person, which I thought was cool. But ever since then, like, it's just been downhill. Like, you continue to fight bums. Like, you're, the peak of your, I would say the peak of Deontay Wilder's popularity was right before he fought Bermain Stavern. Things looked like they were going in the right direction. But y'all can't, y'all can't say that PBC is promoting Deontay Wilder, right? Because they're not. He's not a household name. Okay, again, I'm, I know I mentioned earlier in this video that boxing isn't that big in the United States, but how about he makes boxing bigger? How about he transcends the sport? How about he try to do things like that? You know, that's all I got, man. Let me know what y'all think about Deontay Wilder and his his comments and uh, how he feels. People don't give a shit about him. But here at Hitman Boxing, we're going to keep criticizing you. We're going to keep talking shit until you side by side. With Luis Ortiz and that ref is giving out them instructions. Because I don't believe shit you say, nigga. Hitman boxing, I'm out.